In this video, we're going to take a look at FitMill 360, and more importantly, some of the features that you'll find within the product. To start with, we need to take a look at FitFoot 360, the CAD system. Here, we define the engraving that we're going to use. We define the material that we're going to use so that the CAM system can pick that up later. And then we export that to the CAM system. So FitMill 360, our CAM solution, it contains three environments, job preparation, job processing and simulation, and a list of all the completed work. So let's take a look at the preparing of jobs. First of all, we import all the files from FitFoot 360 into the queue. We can look at the data um, to ensure that these parts will fit in certain blocks of material and that they are exactly what we expect they should be. Then we just group nest them into the block. In this case here, we're looking at positive models. And then we can go straight to processing. It runs a parallel process using multi-threading that ensures you can carry on working and do the next block while it's processing in the background. And when it's finished, it's going to give you an NC file with all the data to run on the machine and a setup sheet so you know where the parts are in your block. You can also group select parts that you want to get done in a hurry and drop them into the block and then continue nesting other parts from the list. If you want to do manual nesting, you simply grab and drag the part and rotate it into position. But care must be taken to make sure that part fits within the block and doesn't collide with its neighbour, otherwise it won't process. This protects you and your machine. The next step, process and simulate jobs. Here we can process groups of jobs or simply simulate jobs that have already been done. So what we're looking at here is a block of MDF positive models uh, that are being machined and engraved. Here we're overlaying the toolpaths on top so we can actually interrogate it. So if we've got a new tool or a new setup, we can make sure it's not going to cause any problems for us. So what about two-sided jobs where we want to machine both sides, for example, polypropylene? Here we've got a group nested and the pins that are generated are holding those parts in when we machine the top and bottom. So we'll require a lot more space when nesting this type of part. Once again, in parallel, while that's processing, we can take a look at other jobs in our queue or other jobs that we've completed. And like before, we've got this parallel processing and multi-threading going on in the background to speed everything up. Once again, we have our setup sheet and this time we have an NC toolpath that has a pause in it to enable us to flip the fixture. One thing that's really important when you're setting a job up is collision. If you have collision, you need to detect it in your simulation. Here we have a tool length offset issue that's causing the head to collide. With this type of job, we can also simulate the bottom side. This will show the three tool paths that we're going to use here to do the underside. First of all, the contour, which is a 3D offset, followed by the engraving, which puts the name of the patient in, and then finally the profile pass to finish those parts off, ready to knock them out. FitMill 360 is designed to work with many different types of three-axis machine on many different sizes and types of material. Finally, I want to look at the completed jobs. In here, we see a list of all of the different parts that we've made already, but we can reassign those back into the list and reprocess them again. We can select them, look at them, make sure they're the right job that we want to run again and nest them in. And in this case, we could run this as an emergency job and have a part used material block that we can reuse later. In conclusion, FitMill 360 is a comprehensive CAM solution that is dedicated to custom orthotic insoles, whether they are positives, full for EVA, three quarter length devices on any type of three axis machine.